set to fight for an adjournment, uh, stating that uh, they received the instructions late and they would like, they would like to uh, sufficiently prepare uh, you know, to respond and that the matter will reconvene on Monday. First of all, uh, starting with his arrest, that was uh, premeditated. As you know, uh, we have videos, uh, uh, you know, from around about two, three years back, where people were instructed to include Honorable Gampiongo on the list of those that uh, uh, attacked the helicopter. So it was whether or not he was there, there was an instruction that he must be included on some list somewhere. So it was premeditated, uh, the treatment that the Honorable Kam uh, received uh, was very unfortunate because um, even as his colleague, we were unable to see him when he was being held at the Jerusalem police. Uh, driving him through the, night, through the night like a common criminal. Uh, very, very unfortunate and very sad uh, development of this way. Uh, but like we've said before, this is expected because our friends are, are bent on uh, uh, intimidating the political opponents uh, in their own wisdom, they think by doing so, uh, the opposition will, be, will cow down and uh, stop speaking. But that's totally uh, wrong, because we are elected by the Zambian people, and we continue to represent them in our capacity as members of parliament, and we also continue to exist as the opposition political party. So what the focus should be uh, by the government should be simply to deliver to the people what they promise. I think that the route they have taken is not in response to what the people expected. Well, uh, maybe just in addition, everything that we are experiencing, including the court process here, is basically as a result of the, what is said in Scripture. The Scripture says that the leader leads from a place of the integrity of his heart and the competence of his hands. But Mr. Aka Indejirema is leading from the wickedness of his heart and the incompetence of his hands. Because it's, clear, it's very clear that everything that is happening, whether it is the arrest of PF leaders, members, the brutalization of our cadres, and even what we are seeking the court, to help the country keep our democracy afloat is as a result of the hatred and as a result of the vindictiveness of the leader. A leader produces his own kind. His message is what his followers carry. His demeanor is what instructs those that he commandeers. So when you look at the attitude of DEC, the attitude of SEC, the attitude of uh, police officers, including his cadres, they are drawing from the same stream or well of Mr. Akainde's hatred for PF, for PF officials. The statements that the leader of opposition has referred to, where he had already begun to target specific individuals within the PF government, that if he was given an opportunity to get into government, those will see and experience his wrath. Kampiongo is one of them and many others. And now he is sleeping under his pillow a list of PF MPs, PF former ministers. And on the top of the list, he's always skating around, but we know that he's never sleeping trying to find something he can do against President Edgar Takalongo. So for us, we are here believing that the only remaining conscious of our society and conscious of the nation is the judiciary. And our faith in the judiciary is that they will rise to the occasion and make sure that our democracy is kept afloat. Members of parliament who were elected by their people in the constituencies will go back and continue to do their work. Thank you very much.